how... I'm all right with it, but like I said, remember, tell, let them know that I know that the cops knew who I was after Richard Mallory died. I left prints everywhere and they covered it up. I mean, okay, what? Let's say, let's say the cops were following you. Yeah. Let's say they were following uh -huh. you and they did everything that you're, you're saying they did. Uh huh. Nonetheless, yeah. you killed seven men. Yes, you And I'm did. asking you, what got you to kill the seven men? And I'm men? telling you, because the cops let me keep killing them, Nick. Don't yeah, you not, get it? Not everybody is killing seven people. So there must have been something in you that was getting you to oh, do you that. Oh, you are lost, Nick. So I was a hitchhiking hooker. Right. Running into trouble. I'd shoot, shoot the guy if I ran into trouble. Physical trouble. The cops knew it. When the physical trouble came along, let, let her clean the streets. And but, then we'll pull her in. But That's how come why. there was so much physical trouble? In just, it, because it was all in one year. Seven people in one oh, year. Oh, well. Oh, well. And let me kill the rest of those guys to turn me into a serial killer. I know they did. Because I was no professional serial killer or anything. I don't know, murderer or whatever you want to call it, you know. It wasn't special at so, what I was doing. Eileen, how... I did how, some sloppy work, you know. And I left how have you prepared yourself for tomorrow morning? I, I'm all right with it. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Hey, I was tortured at BCI. They had, they had the intercom on in the room, and they kept lying that it wasn't on, and they were using sonic pressure on my head since 1997. Sonic pressure. And every time I was trying to write something, I, they, and I, I think they had some kind of eye in the cell, I'm not sure, but every time I started writing something, it went up higher. So I'm thinking that probably had the TV rigged. And do you think, what, did that affect your mind, do you think? Huh? Did that affect your mind in some way, the sonic? It was crushing my head and they were using sonic pressure continually. Then when I had three meetings with Miss Villacorda on it, every meeting I had, she increased the pressure of the volume of the calm, increased the harassment on the floor, increased the uh, trays being inedible, just increased every bit of my complaints and trashed all grievances. But you're okay now. I'm okay. I'm okay. God is going to be there. Jesus Christ is going to be there. All the angels and everything. And, you know, whatever, whatever's on the beyond, I think it's going to be more like Star Trek beaming me up into a space vehicle, man. Then I move on, recolonize to another planet or whatever. But it's whatever's the beyond, I know it's going to be good because I didn't do anything as wrong as they said. I did the right thing. <laughs> what, what more do you want to say about the cops? A lot of stuff. Did you know that they were surveilling me before I killed? And then I knew it? And that was covered up? Did you know there was helicopters dropping down from the sky, deputy sheriff with decoys picking me up four or five months before my arrest? It was covered up. But nonetheless... Nobody ever asked me these the questions. Whether the cops were following you or not, I Oh, think. whether the cops were following me okay. or not. But why not say now? Because I'm out of retaliation for taking my life like this and getting rich off it all these years in, in total pathological lying. Yeah, thanks a lot. I lost my fucking life because of it. Couldn't even get a fair trial. Couldn't even get a fair investigation or nothing. Couldn't even have my appeals right. You're inhuman. You're an inhumane bunch of fucking living bastards and bitches. And you're going to get your asses nuked in the end. And pretty soon it's coming. 2019, a rock's supposed to hit you anyhow. You're all going to get nuked. You don't take fucking human life like this and just sabotage and rip it apart like Jesus on the cross. You say, thanks a lot for all the fucking money I made off of you. And not care about a human being and the truth being told. Now I know what Jesus was going through. We're going to have to cut this interview, Nick. I'm not going to go into any more detail. I'm leaving. I'm glad. Thanks a lot, society, for railroading my ass. Okay, let's go. I'm a patient person, got a good listening ear, and try to help people. You're patient, with a good ear, and you try to help people. Yes. When you're not trying to murder them. Yes. When Kellinger's reign of terror ended, three were dead. 
including his 14-year-old son. You murdered your own son? Yes, I did. Why did you do that? He was a sacrifice. I was to murder three million people on planet Earth. And he was a sacrifice to see if I could murder one of my own. At the end of murdering all the people on Earth, I was going to murder my own family and then take my own life and become God. What do you think of the death penalty? I'm opposed to it. The state has no right to take your life, but you can murder other people? I don't think anyone has a right to take the life. Except you? When I'm under hallucination, I do. These voices from God, these hallucinations, do you still experience them? Yes, I do. Often? Often. Do you ever feel violent? Yes, I do. What do you feel like doing? Killing people. You still feel like killing people? Yes. Describe the feeling that you get when you feel like killing people. Well, last March 11th, I was hallucinating, and I took a razor blade and I cut a man's throat. Here in the hospital? Here in the hospital. Do you think you'd murder me, Joe? Yes. That's gruesome, Joe. That's horrible. Yes, it is. And you don't blame me if I say I hope you never get out of this place. I hope I never do either. Why do you want to be executed? Uh, I have to be. Uh, because I will kill again. No, I would do it again. I've been molesting kids nonstop since I was 13 years old, over half my life. Uh, anything happened, I can guarantee I'd do it again, and sooner or later I would kill another child. I've done it before, and at the time I liked it. Dodd also says that if he ever escapes from prison, there is someone in particular well, that he will be out to kill. I'm not going to say who, but there is somebody out there. There's a man out there. There's a man. Yeah. Someone related to the case that got you in prison in the first place? Mm, not directly, no. But it's something that you know that you're going to do or you, you plan to do, you want to do. Yeah. Did your execution do any good? I think it would. I think a few child molesters, anyway, are going to think twice before they do anything again. How do you live with yourself daily? At times, it's not easy. Uh, like I said, there's times you know, I think about what I've done. Uh, I think about some of the things the boys said before they died, and, and that's real hard to think about. Um, but other times, I just try to put everything out of my mind. Do you look forward to dying? In a way, yeah, I think it'd be a relief. I don't have to think about all these things anymore. Uh, and I know that's the only way I can guarantee I'm not going to hurt anybody else. Um, you know, right now I'd sit here and say I don't want to, but I know it'll happen. <laughs>